So y'all pray for me when y'all need. <laughs> um, I kind of talk about real things. I talk about what I think. Hopefully you agree. <laughs> if you don't, I really don't care. <laughs> But um, I talk about how I see things. So my best friend met a man. And when she met this man, this man was already betrothed to someone else. <laughs> now, he proceeds to tell her, you don't understand my situation with my wife. We have an understanding. Now, I'm not quite sure in anybody's marriages, if you and your spouse had a conversation that went something like, we understand that you're going to do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do, and we're going to be okay with that. I'm sure there are somewhere. I just had not met them. So what I decided to do is I decided to write about it. How I imagine that looks like when you deem me mistress. Mm. He said they still married, but he don't like her no more. He said they have an understanding. Says she ain't the woman she used to be, ain't got time for him, and is grown way too demanding. So he hopes we can be friends. Me and he. Not we as in him, her, and me, just the two of us. I'm thinking since they have an understanding, maybe they've already discussed the possibility of new friends. But he said, no, she don't know, and she don't know him, and he would like to call me baby. Maybe even grow this. Got me standing in the mirror with my hands on my hips, turning from side to side, wondering if mistress looks good on me. Because obviously my suitor thinks it's a perfect fit, and I must consider it since he chose me out of all of the ladies he could have gotten with mistress. Hmm. Kind of rolls up the tongue like concubine, like brother's line, like read the signs, like nigga, I ain't got time to be your go-to girl, your girl Friday, and you must have gotten high today when you decided to approach me with that Willy Wonka nickel plated ticket, brother, you are not a prize. Simply an erection waiting to happen disguised as husband. His name was Richard. May I call you Dick? I personally am sick and tired of I'm married but being your PBS words of the day. It's elementary. Why haven't you graduated to high? I'm Richard, married, never getting divorced. And I was wondering if I could buy you a drink and then take you somewhere and disrespect you, of course, and my vows. Could you decide now? I got church in the morning. Maybe they don't recognize your face, but it still won't look good on you. I mean, like, did you see? me and think like, yeah, she looks like someone I can use and be real disrespectful to. Funny how everything that I won't do, there are 29 sisters who will. There are sisters out there that will be more than happy to sleep with your man and not give a damn how you feel. If you was treating him right, you wouldn't have to come to me, simple bitch. You didn't have to come to me. Yeah. 
Nate's cheaters are rarely ever reformed. In the society that we live in, they become part of the norm. If he's cheating on her, he'll be cheating on you. Because a man who won't do what you allow him to do. And if you're confused about it, you got a book to refer. What is for you is for you. Can't nobody take that away. He might come tomorrow. He might come today. You will want an unfaithful man. He's not worth his weight or his wealth because an 